and welcome to another episode of Car Mechanic Simulator 2018. In today's episode, I'm going to be working on this truck. However, I've already done the whole engine, which wasn't actually very much because there wasn't a whole crap ton of parts to do, and the game is lagging like a biatch. So, I will be back when the game is actually working properly, and you can watch this time lapse in that much time. Okay, now that you've seen that, I'm going to do a few small things on this engine. For example, I'm going to take off the fuel filter and then put on the performance fuel filter. So there is the performance fuel filter on, and then unmount this here. Take the air filter out, and then put in the performance air filter. Now I'm going to put everything back together here. So really with this truck, even though a lot of the engine parts, for example, the exhaust manifold and those sorts of things. The issue is here, and also the ignition coil, they, there's no custom parts for those. So you don't get any more power from those. You just get more power from the pistons and a few other things. So, fuel tank. And really what I noticed is, even just compared to my F350, this is a ginormous truck. This truck is so humongous, and it's very obvious once you put it onto the lift. So you just put it onto the lift, now you go up to the end here and you're like, okay, wow, well, that's kind of up in the air. Also, a slight disappointment is, this is independent front suspension. It does have a solid extra rear, even though the game simulates the rear end as being independent. So that is annoying. But now let's just go see how this drives with those parts on it. And then after that, I'm going to put a custom gearbox in and do the clutch and the exhaust so off our track and then dodge ram 3500 okay here we are let's take a sample of the noise here it does sound pretty good and this is not with a custom exhaust on it so i can imagine it will sound a little bit better and there's a big bump there so around this corner here don't really know how much power this truck has yet. However, let's go up this. And this has just enough power to get up this. So I suspect with the better clutch and all that stuff, it'll be a little better. And also, this truck does shift really fast. Yeah, so let's see if you can see it here. No, you can't because I'm off road. Oh, jeez. Okay. So I'm going to go to another map and I'll be right back. And now that we're at the abandoned airport, I want to show you how this truck shifts. Extremely fast as the answer. Do that, there's a few mods in this truck. Okay, go under here, take the exhaust and muffler and all this stuff off, and then go up here. Come on, come on, game. Well, I guess I need to take the drive top off anyway, so I'll take that off. 
Okay, now that I'm up here, I'm gonna take the transfer case off. And to show now the gearbox. So to take the gearbox off, then you take the starter off, and then you can just take the gearbox and clutch and everything off. Okay. okay. Drop bearing, clutch pressure plate, and then the clutch plate. And just take the hardware off. Now put in the performance parts. Oh wait, I don't have the performance parts. So go in here, gearbox. That, 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 and good. So, flywheel, clutch, clutch pressure plate, clutch release bearing, and the gearbox. Now my idea of what this gearbox is, is that I'll be able to tune it so that first gear will be pretty low down, which means that since first gear will be really low down so that it can go really slow in first gear, what that means is that there's going to be a lot of wheel torque, which means you can go up a hill really easily in it. Also, real quick, I need to take off the front exhaust section here. Okay, don't need to look at that. Okay, put all this stuff on. Let's go to the back. Okay. Now we have a nice shiny exhaust system on here. Now we can move this to the dyno. Cannot start the engine. I suspect that I know why. Yep, no starter. Dang, no. Oh, <laughs> okay, this is great. So, the truck is so ginormous, you can't even fit it the whole thing on here. You can't fit the whole truck on here, which means that the camera, you can't see the whole truck. Oh, that's great. Okay, let's see what sort of power and torque this has. Normally, this doesn't have all that much power, 295 and 400 pound-feet of torque. However, this should make a lot more. Yes, that's a good, that's a healthy increase. A 39% increase. So now we have 549 horsepower and 547 pound-feet of torque. Torque. The only minor issue with this is that the torque is made a little bit higher in the RPM range, and the maximum power is also made higher in the power in the RPM range. If you look here, so I would assume that this here is torque, the blue. You have a lot more torque before you have a lot of power. Okay, now let's see how this truck does off road and things. Also, first, tune parts. I think I'm going to give it 10 gears, why in the hell not? Because 10 gears means it's going to be more- No, actually, I'm not going to give it 10 gears, I'm going to give it 6 gears, because 6 gears will be less efficient. And when it's less efficient, that means that you're hurting polar bears. Which means that it r that, that environmentalists won't like it. So now what I'm going to do here- Uh, wait, nah, not the right button there. Okay, get the back to 4.88, which is actually a pretty high ratio. Anyway, so first gear ratio, it's going to be really high so that I can go up things. Okay, that should be pretty good there. Now we can see how much better it goes up the hill. And Oh yeah, that, even just doing that a little bit, I can tell there's a healthy power increase there. Oh, Jesus, bounce, bounce, bounce. Okay, especially with the trucks, I wish you could put lift, it, lift kits on it. So let's see how much easier it goes up here. We have literally no problem whatsoever. Yep, this truck is even better than it was before. And then just because I'm curious, let's we'll see what the 0 to 60 and that sort of thing is. Okay, let's see how this goes. This first gear will not last any time. Yep, okay, good. It, not, it didn't bounce off the rev limiter. And there's 60. So that was 0 to 60 in 5.3 seconds, which for a pickup truck is actually pretty decent. Actually, that's quite good. I know that the diesel F250s do 0 to 60 in about 8 seconds. I don't think it'll ever hit 200. No, it won't hit 200. But considering it's a pickup truck, it got up there real fast. And considering it's a heavy duty truck, which means it's gonna get just heavy. So what's the top speed? 127. Those are some pretty good brakes, honestly. Okay. 0 to 60 took 5.397 seconds. Anyway, hopefully you'd like this episode. And goodbye.